Hi, I'm David Harry, and in this particular video, I'm gonna be testing two microphones. One of them is this microphone made by Behringer, and this is the Ultra Voice XM8500. And the other microphone is this one, and this is made by Electra Voice, and this is the RE20. Now, this microphone, this costs in the US, I think $450. In the UK, this one costs between four to 500 pounds, and this microphone in the UK costs 16 pounds, and in the States, it costs $20. So, I mean, you know, going by the price and the weight of them, you know, you think that this one's gonna be way better than this one, but what we'll do, we'll run through these tests and see what happens with them. Now, they're both dynamic mics, which means that dynamics tend not to be as sensitive as, say, condensers and whatnot and you normally require a lot more preamping. Now, what I'm gonna do is plug them straight into this camera, which, which I'm on now, and this is a Sony AX100. Now, whilst it doesn't have a balanced like XLR input on it, what it is, it's got a really good preamp on it anyway, and the thing is, it's a level playing field because we're using the same preamplifier for both microphones. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do now is get on, I'll do a bit of talking on this one, a bit of talking on this one, and then I'll do like a bit of a silence kind of sensitivity test as it were, and then I'll come back for the summary. So this is the Electra Voice RE20. Now at the moment, I'm kind of like going straight down its throat. Um, so this is like the most optimal position. So what I'll do, I'll kind of just kind of talk off axis a little bit. So I'm coming to the side and then I'll, I'll come over to this side as well. And then I'll just kind of step back from it a little bit and then I'll lean in a little bit more like that. Um, now, it's not the most sensitive microphone in the world and and, and that's actually an understatement. It's, they're, just, they're just not sensitive. Um, and you do need a really good preamp for these. And at the moment, I'm going straight into the camera. So it's my camera's preamp that's doing everything here. Uh, while it's not the best in the world, it's okay for a, you know, for a small budget camera. Um, yeah, so I'll just come back off for a little bit again. So, you know, I mean, most microphones, you're not going to come this far off them anyway. But in this kind of like around this area here, I mean, I'm trying to look at the, the VUs as I'm doing this, but in this, you know, in this kind of position and this kind of movement, I mean, not that you would do this, but, you know, this kind of gives us an idea if, you know, well, if, not just if, but, you know, how far off its, uh, its axis can we go. And, you know, where where is its kind of sweet spot? And, you know, I'll come under it a little bit, blah, blah, blah. I'll come over the top a little bit. Yeah, so I think that's probably enough for this one. Uh, now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to jump over to a microphone that costs a ton less than this one. All right, so now I'm on to the Behringer Ultra Voice XM8500. Now, um, this is similar to the Electra Voice, and by similar, I mean they are both dynamic microphones. Uh, beyond that similarity, uh, there's not much in it. <laughs> uh, I mean, this microphone here, this costs like $20 or £16 in the UK compared to, I think in the UK we pay somewhere between four to 500 quid for the Electra Voice, and I think in the States you're paying like $450. So, you know, it's a huge difference. So, you know, technically speaking, we should be saying that this microphone should be nowhere near as good as it. But even before I listen back, because I haven't, I don't know what this test is until, you know, I, I listen back as well. But even before I do that, the one thing I will say is I love this microphone. It's an amazing microphone. Um, regardless of whatever you're doing, whether you're, you're doing film work, video work, whether you're in studios, anywhere where you're recording anything, this microphone you should have. You should have this in your arsenal. Even if you don't use it much, it should just be there. It's £16 or $20. It's the biggest no-brainer of a purchase for a microphone I've ever come across. It's amazing. Anyway, let me stop here, you know, ranting on about how great I think the mic is for its price. We're trying to gauge how it sounds now against what we've just heard with the Electra voice. So I'm now going straight down its throat here, um, which is going to be its optimal position. So I'll just back off a little bit. 
Um, again, with dynamics, you know, you don't come this far off them uh, unless you've got massively loud sound sources and whatnot. And I'll just kind of like come off axis a little bit. I'll, I'll come over this side as well. I'll kind of look over the top of the mic a bit and come underneath it. Um, oh, yeah, I'll tell you what, I, I didn't do this with the with the Ultra Voice. Uh, sorry, I didn't do this with the EV, but I'll just uh, come from behind. Actually, hold on right there, so... I'm talking from behind it and stuff and whatnot and all the rest of it. Now, I didn't need to do that one with the EV because I know for a fact it's rejection off the back is massive. Um, and, you know, you're not going to use microphones like that in scenarios where you've not set them up correctly anyway. Or at least you shouldn't be spending that kind of money and not using them properly. Whereas with this microphone, because it's so cheap, you know, it's going to be going into all kinds of different scenarios. All right, so I'm just coming off it again like that. Uh, so this is like really wide at the mark as far as you know coming off axis is concerned. I'll I'll kind of come round a bit like that. Now I know this isn't particularly scientific, but I tell you what, it's it's real world. Now, okay, so I'm gonna go back now and and listen to the two mics and then edit them up and all the rest of it. But like I say, just make the point here. This microphone costs sixteen pounds or twenty dollars, and the Electra Voice costs. Four to five hundred pounds or four hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, so let me go and do me summary now. Oops, in my haste to finish the video, I forgot um, we're gonna go to noise tests right now, not the summary. Okay, what was that all about? <laughs> um, I don't want to say too much. I mean, it's very obvious what the results would suggest there. Um, I know a lot of people use this microphone, and maybe in certain instances, maybe it sounds a lot better than this one in a certain scenario. Whatever that scenario is, I don't know. For me, though, this is an amazing microphone. I like this, I love this one. Um, isn't really much else to say about this test. It's kind of like, you know, the proof is in the listening, as it were, with this one. Um, both of these microphones, you can see links in the descriptions below to see if you'd be interested in buying one. And if you're gonna buy one, I think I know which one people are gonna to wanna to buy. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm, I'm not taking a mickey out of this one. It is a fantastic mic. And in a different scenario, maybe it would shine a lot better than this one. But in this particular test, there's no way that this is worth way more than this one as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, that's just my little take on these two microphones. And hopefully people found that the, uh, the test was interesting. Okay, well, thanks very much for watching my video. Take care. Goodbye now.